Hi there. Let's see what I read in June. So this is my Goodreads wrap up and today is actually July 3rd, which means it's a really big day in the U.S. tomorrow. Um, I get this is just a U.S. holiday, but this is where I live and even though I haven't been feeling very patriotic lately with some things that have been going on, um, I am, you know, proud to be a U.S. American citizen. So there you go. Tomorrow's a big day, but today let's figure out what I've been reading in June. Um, as far as my Goodreads challenge goes, I've, I've read 29 books, which is 48% of my overall challenge. And it actually says that I am one book behind. And there's a very good reason for that. So I only completed three books in the month of June. There was another book that I started that I did not finish. And I made a conscious decision to do that. Um, I'll get more into it into my review video, but it was one of um, my book club reads and I decided not to read it or finish reading it because I didn't want what I was going through to affect my overall review of the book because sometimes what's going on in your life affects you. So anyway, um, let's actually look at what I did complete. So I, like I said, I completed three titles. And so the first one um, was Wilder's Prize. This was one of the IWSG book club reads for the month of June. I gave it an overall star rating of five. I really enjoyed this book. I got the next two in the series. Um, when I get to my review in the next video, you'll see there's some things that you got to kind of be aware of when you go into this book, but regardless, really enjoyed it. The next thing that I completed was Pegasus. A Journey to New Eden. This is actually a book that I read because I interviewed one of the authors on my Read Local show. Um, this is by um, James L. Hill, and I gave it an overall star rating of five. This is a really good um, science fiction story. Um, what's really great about this is that the main characters are Black, but that's not part of the story. Like, it doesn't even matter that they're Black, really. But for me, you know, a person of color, having a person of color be the main character in a sci-fi story is awesome. So I'll go more into that into my review. And the last thing that I actually completed in the month of June was how I found my right path, a compilation of letters. I gave this a five-star rating. So this was a five-star month for me. This book um, was for my Read with Faye challenge. This is my nonfiction piece that's supposed to, you know, help me on my writer's journey and I, my review will explain why I enjoy that so much. One thing I do like to point out about my Goodreads challenge is it only reflects the books that I was able to count towards that challenge. I've actually been reading a trilogy um, from January to now uh, because I am mentoring an aspiring writer. So I've actually read more than what my challenge reflects, but hey, that's par for the course. <laughs> so that is what I read in June. I will be doing my review video very soon. I'll also be doing a whip update soon. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys that short video. And if you are in the US and you are celebrating tomorrow, please be safe out there. Have fun with your families, but be safe, okay? All right, till next time, bye.